while we're doing the new oil pump, which we saw needed to be done because I was starting to have a little sumping issue, there were two things that I Thank called you. Jamie at j and V-Twin Repair about a cam. Number one, I wanted to have an increase in low and mid-range power, but just as importantly, because I didn't feel I was lacking in power anyway, but why not, while we're there, why not put the cam in? You won't I believe wanted, the difference. I wanted to have some chop. I wanted to have a, a lope. And as you all know, watching this video, if you've gone researching cams, it is a rabbit hole that has no bottom. And so I, I asked Jamie uh, what his recommendations were, and he recommended the Maxell 818H, and he's gonna tell, tell you all why uh, he recommends that, what to expect from it, what it's good for. Um, I'll start by saying that this is my choice. Um, I could have gotten a free cam for this job that, for the promotion. Um, this gentleman chose not to donate because he don't feel like he needs to. Uh, so I'm, I'm saying that to say that even though that we're paying for this cam and lifters, this is still my choice to go in this motorcycle. The, this cam is head and shoulders above anything else on the market right now. Um, the sound, the low end power, the, it actually is designed to run a little cooler. Uh, the gentleman that, that designed this cam, um, Jim Gutches, uh, Jim's V twin in North Carolina is a uh, retired NASCAR um, cam engineer. Uh, he did engine building and stuff too, but his primary thing was cams and he's all the time doing something different. What I, one thing I like about these cams, which is minuscule, is his blanks are 100% US made they're turned in the United States. So everything about his cam is US and just about everybody else is using Chinese blanks. Um, so yes, they are a little more expensive, but you get what you pay for. Uh, I have installed dozens of these and I, I have zero complaints. Um, they, they continue to impress me and I had never heard of them till about two years ago and a customer brought me one and said, I want this in my bike. And I said, I'll put it in but I'm not, gonna, uh, I'm not gonna guarantee the results. And when I finished tuning his bike, I'm like, okay, who is this guy? You know, he's, uh, uh, like I said, his stuff just works. This particular cam is the 818H, it's a 475 lift. It is his smallest cam, but this thing will sound, especially, um, this is a 114, correct? Mm -hmm. um, we could put a little bit bigger cam in this bike being a 114, but I really like this because it is a torque monster. Um, we see typically on a 114, we'll see torque in the 130s and horsepower right around 110, um, which we all know horsepower means nothing in a Harley. It's all about torque, but this cam will come on hard around 2,800 RPM. So when you're cruising down the interstate um, and you need to pass somebody, you just roll on the throttle. And, and it's just like having passing gear without ever downshifting. Um, and probably the thing that impresses me the most is for a 475 lift cam, how hard this thing loads. And, and he'll tell you, he don't care. Um, he wants something that works and he wants something that runs cool or the fact that they sound good is just a complete bonus. Um, but I, I can't say enough good things about the cam. <laughs>